Welcome to episode four of the Crazy Viking Cooks in Mexico. Tonight we're going to be doing beef stroganoff, uh, which was requested on demand. The total cook time is about 35 minutes. Uh, we will show you uh, the prep to, of the meat. We're going to let it simmer and then we'll come back and then we'll see the plating of the beef stroganoff on the pasta. So first we're going to, uh, there's a tablespoon of uh, olive oil already in the pan. And I'm going to add two tablespoons of butter. And then we're going to let that warm up. And uh, then we're going to add one medium-sized, uh, thinly sliced white onion. So we're letting this heat up. I'm starting to hear it crackle. And so now we're going to add in one medium-sliced white onion. And we cook this for about two minutes until it's uh, golden brown and translucent. And then we're going to be adding in three cloves of garlic. Okay. So now this is uh, three cloves of freshly ground garlic. I made the mistake of not separating the onions after they were sliced, so now I'm quickly dicing or uh, tossing the, the uh, onions to get them separated. Don't make that mistake. Whoa, that's warm. Okay, so now we're going to add in the three cloves of garlic into the mixture. And as you can expect, it's starting to smell really tasty. Now while that's cooking, I'm going to take one pound of uh, sirloin steak, thinly sliced. I've cut off all the fat so uh, and gristle and I've cut it into small chunks against the grain. I'm going to take that and I'm going to put it in the flour, which is uh, three tablespoons of flour, and then I'm going to add in a quarter teaspoon of pepper and half a teaspoon of salt. We'll get this fully incorporated. So the point is that we want to uh, cook the meat and then uh, in the same saucepan we'll be creating the, uh, the sauce which uh, includes three tablespoons of uh, tomato paste, uh, a cup of, of, uh, of uh, beef broth and um, we're going to add some red wine, half a cup of red wine, and half a cup of uh, heavy cream, or you can use sour cream. We'll be back with you in a moment. Okay, we're back. The meat is nicely uh, brown. I need a sip of scotch. I'd like to say that this is not stressful, but it is. Here's, uh, here's the meat, nicely browned, and now we're going to uh, turn down the heat, 
and we're going to incorporate three tablespoons of tomato paste. And we're going to add one cup of beef broth. And approximately half a cup of red wine. But personally, I think we kind of cheaped out on the wine, so I'm going to add a little bit more. So, I incorporate all of this. And uh, my wife really appreciates it if I can keep the contents of the uh, skillet within the confines of the skillet as opposed to all over the sink or all over the uh, stove. And now we're going to let this whole concoction simmer for approximately 30 minutes. And when we're done simmering for 30 minutes, then we'll be adding the heavy cream. And uh, in the meantime, we will be boiling the fettuccine pasta or, or uh, egg pasta. And, uh, and then we'll be plating. So see you in a few minutes. Welcome back everyone. It's been approximately 30 minutes of this simmering under low heat with a um, lid on and my timer is just going off to tell me that it is time. So we're going to uh, take the lid off. It smells absolutely wonderful. We're going to give it a quick stir. And then we're going to pour in half a cup of heavy cream. And then we are going to let it simmer with the lid on for another 15 minutes, in which time we will cook the uh, fettuccine pasta, and um, then we'll be ready to plate the meal. Okay. Welcome back. It's been 15 minutes. We've had the cover on. And the uh, results look amazing and smell delicious. And we're going to uh, drain the pasta and then we're going to plate it and we will be back. Now we're going to plate the meal. I've already got the pasta in the bowl. And I'm going to put a couple of generous scoops of the beef stroganoff on top. And voila. And so uh, one of the things I'm going to be doing in the next little while is I'm going to be expanding my program to include uh, eating in Mexico with the Crazy Viking. Take care.